Good morning. It's Daniel here from the Garden Pot Workshop, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a Hoya totem pole. So, um, I have one here which has just been potted up, and that's sort of like the finished result. The idea is that the Hoya sits inside a small pot um, with a sort of constricted root system, um, because Hoyas prefer to be in a small pot in order to get them to flower. Uh, I like to be a bit root bound uh, and then so the way that that sits in a pot like this is well I've just prepared a little bit earlier the actual pole which is you can use uh, this is an old tree fern uh, Sayathia cooperi the, the dot the coin spot fern but this one here for example it's an old piece of bamboo um, so what you do is you just wrap the bottom of the bamboo with a bit of glad wrap so it doesn't rot and um, the pot just sits submerged in soil so the way you do it it's pretty straightforward probably one of the easiest things I've ever done um, is you sit the, the log inside a 300ml pot this is in a slightly taller pot but you could probably do it with a smaller oil like this one here uh, and just have it floating in the top um, so I'm just going to sit that loosely in here. It's a bit easier because it's got a bit of weight to it. And it'll also have a little bit longer lifespan because I don't actually, when I water this, you water the centre plant, but you don't water the outside. Um, that's just really to hold the stick up um, and also to give the plant some um, weight so when it gets tall and it's climbing everywhere it won't tip over. So, yeah, it's an awful waste of space, but it works. And yeah, this one here works really well. There's another one up in the back corner. Oh, yeah, never mind. It's um, yeah, down that way. But um, so, yeah, maybe we can just pause this as I start. So I'm working on a, a balcony at the moment, so everything I'm doing is in tubs. Um, really handy to have tubs uh, of soil and scoops like this are really handy to help scoop up the soil. And I'm just sort of dipping in the gaps here. And it's almost there. And the, the, the last thing I do is fill up the top edge. I'll, I'll tell you, maybe pause it again until I get to the, right to the top and then I'll do yeah. So, yeah, once you've finished filling it up with soil, just pack it down. Obviously, you can lift this up and down, but oh, if you lift it up too high, all the soil falls in underneath it, so you've got to be a bit careful about the final height of that. I like to have it sitting a little bit proud of the rest of the soil there. So, that's what you have to do. And obviously, you want to rotate the plant so it's heading in the right direction and then once it starts to get a bit longer then you need to train it and um, so what I do is take like a, a flexible bit of wire wrap it around the trunk and tie it in a little bit of a, a twist knot and leave those and so once the plant gets tall enough to come over here you just fold it gently over the over the um, vine uh, and it will stop it from flopping and you might have a few of these wires as you go up the trunk and as it gets all scraggly you just wrap it around again and you keep tying it around in circles and you fit it, thread it through and around and, and eventually you get something that looks a bit like this. Uh, so here's an example of a tendril that's been wandering and sometimes they climb up and get all the way to the roof and you have to pull them back out and you know, I just sometimes just tuck it in and just try and give the leaves a little bit of light and try not to get them caught and so that one can sit at the front here and eventually all the leaves sort of fold towards the front and um, yeah that's it so that's a different variety again that's just a native Australian Hoya Carnosa um, this is a Hoya Obvata which is um, has a really beautiful pink flower it's actually the same plant up here on the, on the wall 
which is in a hanging box. And the tendrils came all the way down to touch the floor of the table here. And so now I've folded them back up and directed them into the trellis. Um, can't really see that. Can't really see. But yeah. Anyway, that's the. The video is getting a bit long. Yeah. So. Oh, and then so. Last touch is to get like some wood chips. You don't have to do this, but it's a nice sort of presenting tip. I just like to do the wood chips on the outside. Um, and yeah, just looking from above, you get a nice sort of um, yeah finish with the black center and yeah brown frame. That's it. Thanks. See you next time.